Hello, my name is Benjamin and I am a developer for Archiframe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the drilling tool. So if we open the add-on and go to extended plank tools, the drilling tool can be found in the rightmost tab. There are three ways of creating drillings. The first being click position. Here you just select the plank and press do new and you can place the drilling where you'd like. You can lock the drilling position on the X and Y axis using these settings. So if I put 50 for the X and create a new drilling, you'll see that the position is locked 50 millimeters from the start. And uh, Let's just show on the Y. Create a new drilling and you'll see it's locked 50 millimeters on the Y instead. The depth setting is how far into the plank we want to drill and having it as zero means it will be drilled completely through. Then there's the diameter setting, which simply is the size of the drilling. So let's put something big here. And you'll see that we are creating a bigger drilling. Then there's the side setting, which is which side of the plank the drilling is created on. The second method of creating drillings is into intersection of two planks metal lines. So here I have created two planks that intersect in the end. If I select this one and select both the planks, press do new, you'll see that a drilling is created here where they intersect each other. The last and most powerful method of creating drillings is drill selection with picked parts. So here I have a fairly complicated structure with a ventilation system and as you can see it intersects a lot of beams and I would like to create drillings at each intersection. You can do that by selecting the ventilation system layer and press pick and then select the beam layer and press do new. Now that it's done let's just move the beams up a little bit and as you can see drillings have been created for the ventilation system. You can set the diameter to something other than the diameter of the picked part. Just uncheck this one and set the diameter as you'd like for example 50 and pick this and create the drilling it will be exactly 50 millimeters and let's remove it and uh, if you want you can combine these options so let's check this one again and create the drilling what happens now is that it uses the diameter of the picked part plus 50 and this can also be negative like that and create a drilling again. We have recently added support for using 2D objects as picked parts. So here I have a circle, a fill and uh, three hotspots. So I, if I just select them all and press pick and then do new. Uh, drilling is created for each of these parts and uh, there's a special case where the picked parts are lines. Here we will be creating drillings at each intersection point. So let's select the lines and pick them and create drillings. You'll see a drilling is created at each intersection point.